About a year ago, uh, there was a, an announcement by OGD of a collaborative partnership between uh, Metro Selskabit and OGD to share lessons uh, regard, in particular regarding safety. Um, and uh, Margot Brabrand is here uh, with us today. She's going to join me up here for a chat. Um, and in particular to share uh, what, the, what that journey for the last year or so has looked like, what's been happening, um, and what, what she's been learning personally uh, on this journey. Margot. Hello. So what has been happening? So what has been happening? Over the last year. A lot. Um, let me just start by saying that um, my professional background has been in um, the uh, construction industry in Denmark. Mm. And uh, for the last five years, I've been working with Metro uh, Selskabel, a client organization um, which uh, is responsible for operating the existing metro, but also for constructing the new circle line in Copenhagen. Mm. So currently we have um, 21 uh, active building sites within the city center of Copenhagen. Yep. So that's where I come from. And uh, mm. the five years working in Metro Company, I've been working, uh, heading a department with environment and authority issues. Mm. So about six months ago, um, my CEO came to me and said there was this great opportunity for me to take upon mm. an add-on of OHS. And at that point I was somewhat reluctant because it was not my area of expertise. And uh, my predecessors who, who were in the, their field of expertise mm. hadn't really succeeded. So I was, I was a little bit reluctant but took upon the part. Mm. This is just to explain where I'm coming from because sure. it does play a part yeah. in, in this journey we've been on. Um, I was fortunate enough to get into this collaboration with OGD pretty much from the beginning. Yes. Um, but just to say this was my approach to safety when I started these six months ago. Yeah. Um, so we initially had a couple of meetings with different OGD members and we had the opportunity of taking a, a group of people to one of our sites uh, to show how we, we build. And I'm sure they were pretty impressed, uh, not so much about our safety standards, but going 40 meters below down, below ground and, and seeing the tunnel boring machines yeah. and stuff. Um, then we had the privilege of coming uh, here to Espia to visit MASC, seeing the training center here, and then going offshore to, to visit Halfton B. And that was a very huge uh, eye-opener for, for the group of people we were there with from Mitos and Skabel. It was mm. really amazing. What was the difference uh, that you saw? Well, several things, but, but really we, we took from this whole collaboration, we've taken three important learnings with us uh, that we're working with now. And one of them, the, the, the first one is that working safely does not necessarily mean that you work less efficient. Mm. So progress does not need to be compromised because you work safely. Actually, it can enhance progress. Indeed. Yep. This is not the understanding that is uh, everywhere in Danish construction industry, that right. I can say. You will assume that working safely comes with a cost. Time. Yep. So that was one thing that we saw. Um, mm. And another thing we saw is that it is possible to actually work safely. Mm. Because I think in, in the, the construction industry, we assume that what we do is so complex and with a lot of manual work and a lot of interfaces, a lot of people doing things at the same time, we, 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 we want it to be safe, but it's just not completely unavoidable. Right. And that we saw 
it actually is, at least from what where our standard is. Yeah. So you have that so it's there's profitable. A, there's a real challenge to that mindset. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, now we see it's possible yeah. and it's profitable. Sure. And then what we saw really very much at Health and B was that it's all about culture. Culture is key in the organization. And that the engagement and the commitment of top management is crucial. And that was very, very evident at Health and B that the top management uh, the top management's demand and expectation of working safely was just in every hierarchy of the of the setup out there. Mm. So this is what we brought back, and with an immense gratitude for this sharing that we have had through through the different meetings and and the different learnings with with OGD members, we're just very very grateful because it has meant that we now have a CEO and a board who's committed to looking into what we as a client actually have of responsibility when it comes to safety. Right. And how uh, top management's um, approach really makes a difference. So we cannot, what we would like to do as a client is maybe to take a more present active role in mm. saying to our contractors what we expect and how we want it. Yeah. So we're creating the same kind of collaboration. Yes. Mm. Got it. Mm. Got it. Are there, are there, is there a question from the floor or for Margot? Is there a hand? They're very, going very easy on you here, Margot. I know, but that's okay. Oh, there is a question. Chris has a question. Uh, it's great to hear of your cross collaboration with OGD. I was wondering, had you reached out to any other organizations or projects that had undertaken similar work to the one that you're undertaking? I'm thinking well, of Crossrail in the UK and people like that. Well, we've, not as such, we visited them, um, but, but I think what we, we're really not very far compared to this industry, and we realize that. So I think we're, we're pretty busy about getting our own act together. And um, that's where our main focus is right now, to find out what can we do uh, internally as an organization to have a different uh, culture, safety culture, within ourselves. So we're being very self-aware at the moment and I think we have we have quite a huge ta uh, challenge with us um, right now that's keeping us pretty busy so I hope maybe uh, in a couple of years to be able to actually come back and say we have a collaboration with other uh, parties in the Danish construction industry because we've helped to sort of show the way and this has really all come out of these 12 months of working together with OGD. So we're very, very appreciative. Margot, you used the word gratitude a couple of minutes ago. Mm. I, just, I just wonder as we wrap up, is there anything in particular you want to say to the folks here at the, at the conference? Well, the openness and the, the way that sharing, uh, we just heard before that there is uh, encouragement for sharing. The, the industry I come from is even more closed. So I, I can just say that keep on the sharing and thank you very much for, for letting us in because mm. it really has been an eye opener and I think it's gonna, it's gonna change a lot of things in our organization and hopefully in the industry as a whole. Sure. So thank you in, in short. All right, did you get that? Thank you. Great. Thanks, Margaret.